hey guys so i'm back with a quick cook with me video so basically in this video you're just gonna kind of see some of me and the ingredients that i use um i was in the process of making my plate and i figured i would go ahead and show you guys so we're doing like a taco tuesday and the items i'm using are from my current um hauls my first ever aldi haul and my fourth dollar tree haul so make sure you check those out so i already started building my quesadilla uh, my older son already ate his so basically what i'm doing for my meal is we're using this yellow rice that i got from the dollar tree and just cooking it according to the package directions so we already did that then i took and sauteed some shrimp that i got from aldi's and it's the sea queen medium raw shrimp and this was 4.99 and I just sauteed that in a little bit of blue bonnet butter, some cayenne pepper, some um, obey seasoning, and some garlic. So I can show you guys that. So I used this that I got either from Dollar Tree or Big Lots. And then this one from Dollar Tree, the cayenne pepper. And then the obey season that I've had for a while. And I'm assuming I got that probably at Walmart. It's a staple, something I don't use it a whole lot, but it's something that I tend to have in the kitchen. And then for the tortillas, I got these uh, Bonita flour tortillas, the large, and it's the eight count. And these are from all these. Then for my cheese, I'm using some leftover great value shredded mild cheddar cheese that I had for um, some homemade macaroni and cheese that I made and the last ingredient let's see if I can find it is this uh, Kirkwood fully cooked grilled chicken breast strips with rib meat and it is a 22 ounce bag and you can check my Aldi's haul. The price should be in there. But I believe this bag was like $5 and something. So with the shrimp, like I said, I sauteed it in the butter. And the seasonings with the chicken, I just popped it into a bowl and I microwaved it. So I have my tortilla and I just folded it in half to kind of create a line. Filled it with a little bit of the cheddar cheese and the chicken. So now I'm just going to add my shrimp and you can pretty much add however many you want and my chicken pieces are already on there I wanted uh, more shrimp on mine than chicken so I let my older son go first and do his so that's what it's looking like and then to finish that off, I'm just going to take some more of the shredded cheese and just pour that right on top to seal the deal. Like I told my son, you know, it's kind of like the glue that keeps it all together. Then I'm just going to fold that over and pop it in the microwave. And what I've been doing is about 30 seconds on each side. Um, you might want to do a little bit more depending on how melted you want your cheese or how your microwave works. And this is what I have left after I did my serving and my other son did his. Now another alternative for the um, chicken breast meat, my little son decided he didn't want a quesadilla. So what he did was he used the chicken breast meat. And then he used the Louisiana Supreme chicken wing sauce marinade, which we got from the on um, the Dollar Tree, and you can also get it at Big Lots. And then he used these uh, deli rolls that I've just purchased in my recent Aldi haul, and he made a buffalo chicken Subway sandwich, well sub sandwich like the one he gets at Subway. So here it is after the first time so most of the cheese is melted on the bottom so what I do is I just take it and I flip it over to the other side and then I put it back in and this time I think I'm going to actually do 45 seconds 
to make sure that it's all ooey and gooey because I like my cheese really, really melted. So I feel like for the size um, bag of shrimp we had, it was pretty good. Um, I wanted to keep it down to one quesadilla. And so when my son cut his up, we used a little pizza cutter that I got from Dollar Tree Betty Crocker. And it made three triangles. And like I said, this bag is 12 ounces. So we just scooped a little bit and we did a um, cup of the rice, which is the serving size for him. And that is 43, 43 carbs for those who are interested in carbs or nutrition information. There it is. All right, so that is going off in the microwave. Ooh, I can hear it sizzling. And I cannot wait to eat it. All right, let's check it out. Oh, look at that. Awesome. Now, what I'm going to do is just cut it with the pizza cutter to make it easier to eat. And we tend to get quesadillas when we go to a, um, a restaurant called the Bahama Breeze. And we get it as our appetizer and they have the shrimp and lobster quesadillas. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. Nice and cheesy, ooey and gooey. And you see it, it gave us three. Three decent sized pieces, especially the piece in the middle. And for the tortillas... Um, one tortilla is 35 carbs for those who are interested in that. And let's see. Yeah, it's pretty good. Six grams of protein for the tortillas. And amazingly, this grilled chicken is 18 grams of protein per serving. And the serving size is about three ounces. Yeah, and it's less than one carb. I know a lot of people are concerned with, you know, calories and all that kind of stuff. For me personally, I don't worry about all of that. I only worry about the carbs for my, my son because he is diabetic. So that's pretty much the gist of mine. And then, last but not least, we're going to scoop out some of the yellow rice. into a measuring cup that also is from the Dollar Tree. I stay with measuring cups because I measure food all the time for my son. And just when we make dinner, I try to stick to the portion sizes. So we usually do a cup of broccoli and things like that. And there you go, guys. There is the meal. There's the yellow rice with the quesadillas that are deliciously cheesy you got your protein with your chicken and your shrimp and isn't my plate cute y'all i think so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this quick impromptu video of not one idea for the chicken breast meat but two if you substitute the quesadilla and cheese for the deli rolls and the buffalo wing sauce and my son still, my little son still likes to put shredded cheese on top of that. Just a, just a little bit. He doesn't like a lot of cheese. So, I hope you guys will let me know if you make this down below or what you guys put in your quesadillas when you make yours. I'm going to go so I can eat my food. And I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to check out my Dollar Tree hauls and my first ever Audi haul. Until next time, I will see you guys later. And I promise in the next video, you will see my face. Bye.